Have you ever wanted to switch order fulfillment for one of your Etsy listings from one print-on-demand platform to another without creating a new listing? You can do it, and I'll show you how. Hey everybody, Jeff here for POD Insights, the YouTube channel and podcast. Don't forget to check out podinsights.net for links to helpful resources as well as a blog post article for every podcast episode if you're interested in checking that out. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can get notified when future POD Insights videos come out. So what do you do when you want to switch order fulfillment to a new print-on-demand platform but you don't want to have to replace the whole Etsy listing. You don't want to start from scratch. Let's say you've made some sales with it and you don't want to lose your search results placement or anything like that. You just want to have fulfillment changed over. Now we're going to do this in three different directions. Direction number one is switching from Printful to Printify. And the same methodology applies no matter who you're switching from going to Printify. But the methodology switching to Printful or switching to Gelato is different because of the way the orders sync in the way that their platforms function. So let's start with switching from Printful to Printify. So let's say I've got this mug here. It is a Thanksgiving themed mug that says here for the pie. I just made this design recently on a video about using the Kittle design tool. Now let's say I made this with Printful originally when Printful's pricing was a little bit more competitive and now their mug prices, they're a little bit high and I'm having to charge a lot for mugs and now I'm selling less. So I like this Etsy listing. It's getting views, it's getting likes. It's just not really making a lot of sales for me anymore, but I don't want to start from scratch with this mug. I want to keep this listing. So the first step is going to be in your Printify account under your My Products. You're going to want to create drafts for both sizes if you offer the 11 ounce and the 15 ounce. Now there's at least one provider on here that's My Locker, which allows you to do the 11 ounce and 15 ounce together as one listing. If you're using District Photo, they keep them separate for some strange reason. So you have to create a draft for the 11 ounce and for the 15 ounce separately. So that is step one, get those created so that you've got the design on both sizes of the mug or just one size if you only plan on offering on one size. Step two is going to be replacing the SKU numbers in this Etsy listing. So grab your Printify browser window if you have it in a separate tab and pull it out into a separate window. You're gonna wanna resize this window move it over to the right or the left, whatever you prefer, side of the screen, make it nice and small, a little bit less than half the screen I like to do. Until you see the format of these listings change to this kind of like block style where each one is a big square. Now come back to your Etsy account and you're gonna resize this browser window to fit the remaining portion of the screen. Now here we go. So on the left, what we want to do first is come down and find our product variants. Now I originally had both the 11 ounce and 15 ounce sizes here. Now the important thing is this SKU number field. As far as Printify is concerned, that is the most important thing. The way Printify identifies products on an incoming order from your Etsy shop is by the SKU number. So what we need to do is we need to replace these Printful SKU numbers with our new Printify SKU numbers. So first let's do the 11 ounce. On the right side of the screen, let's open the here for the pie mug 11 ounce size that we created and scroll down to the variance section here. There's only gonna be one because there's only one item here. So click on view details, which is right behind my head. Let me scroll that up a little bit. Click on view details. That will open this little pop-up window where you will see the full SKU number that you need. So this is the 11 ounce size. Copy that SKU, come over to our Etsy listing on the left side of the screen, find the 11 ounce variant, highlight the whole thing and paste it in. There we go. We need to do the same thing for the 15 ounce size. So hit the little back button up there twice, get back here, open up your 15 ounce listing, find your variant, view details, and same thing. SKU number for the 15 ounce size, copy it, paste it in. All right, and that's it. But there are still a few more things that we need to do. First, before we go any further, let's come back to our Printful account where we originally created this listing and go to your store page and then go to your synced tab to make the list smaller and easier to look at. Find that listing and you will see that it still indicates two product variants are synced to your Etsy account. And we no longer want Printful to make any attempt to fulfill these orders. Now, us changing the SKU numbers in that listing should prevent Printful from picking up orders from this, but just to be extra sure, we are going to come over to this little three dot menu, click on that, and then find the option that says ignore. Select that, 
a little pop-up window will come up and then you can just click the X to close that out. And now you'll see a little badge has appeared that says ignored. Now we can feel extra sure that this listing will not come through and have the order sync to your Printful account any longer. I don't recommend actually deleting it from here because it was still synced to your Etsy account. So if you delete it here, it might still remove it from your Etsy account. So I prefer to just ignore it. All right, let's come back to our Etsy listing. Now we can finish updating this listing. First and foremost, don't forget to update your pricing. If the price is significantly better with your new print on demand platform, you definitely wanna update your price to be more competitive. If the price that you had on there was competitive already, maybe you can just make a little extra profit and that's fantastic. But in this case, in this example, one of the reasons I wanted to switch order fulfillment to Printify was so that I could lower my price. All right, so the only remaining things are the same no matter how you're switching or which platform you're switching from and to. And that would be just to make sure that your mock-up photos are still an accurate representation of your product. You may want to delete all of the ones that came from the old platform and replace them with some of the mock-ups that came from the new platform or create new mock-ups using Placeit or Canva or something like that. Just make sure that the representation of your product matches what it will now look like on your new platform. Now for mugs, it shouldn't have changed significantly, but just keep an eye on that and update the mockups as needed. One thing you definitely wanna do is come down to the production partner section and remove Printful and change that to Printify in this example. And the last thing is going to be to update your shipping profile. This was set to the Printful shipping profile for mugs, which was the default one that came from Printful. If nothing else, then your origin zip code is going to be different on your orders now so you're going to want to either edit this shipping profile and continue using it or what I actually suggest would just be creating a new separate shipping profile just for Printify mugs so that it's easy for you to remember that that's the right shipping profile for the mugs you're going to now be creating from Printify. And that's it. Those are all the steps to switch from Printful to Printify. Now if you're doing this for an apparel item that had a lot more product variants, the steps are all exactly the same. You just have to go through that process of copying and replacing the SKU numbers for a lot more product variants before you're finished, but otherwise it is the same process. Now, what if we wanted to go in the opposite direction and switch the production from another platform to Printful? So in this example, we'll take a look at the t-shirt for the same design and switch it from Printify to Printful. And actually the process for switching to Printful is gonna be the same no matter which platform you're coming from, but this one happens to be from Printify. So the first step for this one actually does involve coming into our Etsy listing, but most of what we're gonna to have to do to get the orders to sync involves uh, some steps in your Printful account. But first, what we need to do is alter these SKU numbers because we don't want any of these product variants to match with what you have in your Printify account. You might be wondering, can I just delete it from my Printify account? Well, the answer is no, because if you delete it from Printify, it will also delete the Etsy listing. So what we need to do first is come in here and edit these SKU numbers so they no longer match, and that way the order will not sync to your Printify account. Now, you don't have to do anything crazy here. Just click into each SKU field and delete the first number, or delete the last number, or add a number. Whatever you can do the fastest on your keyboard, do whatever works for you. The key is just that now none of these SKU numbers match any product variants in your Printify account, so now the orders will not sync to Printify. So let's hit the publish button here to change those SKU numbers, and then let's hop over to the Printful account so that we can match up each of these variants to a product there go to your Printful account and go to that store page and find that product. So you can either find it on the All tab or you can go to the Not Synced tab to find it if you need a shorter list. And you'll see here is that t-shirt here for the pie t-shirt and it is indicating there are 12 variants that are not synced. So what you're gonna do is click on that listing and then this brings you to a menu where you can see all of the product variants for the t-shirt size and color and you have these red buttons to select Choose Product. This is how you're going to link each variant to a product in your Printful account. So that Printful can now fulfill these orders. So to complete this, all you have to do is click on choose product and note the first one looks like it is a black 2XL. So we're gonna click choose product here. And then we will go to the catalog to locate the actual product that we want. In this case, it is a Gildan 5000. So we're gonna look for t-shirts and then we'll locate the Gildan 5000. And once we get to this page, what we want to do is make sure we select the correct variant. It reminds you up here in the top left corner that you're looking for black 2XL. So make sure that you select the color black. Notice that maroon for some reason is the first choice on here, but black and 2XL. So make sure extra sure size and color are correct. 
All right, now what we can do is make sure that we upload our design. So go make sure that you've selected DTG instead of embroidery. I don't know why that was the default selection there. Make sure we're on DTG, then click on drop your design here. So you will need to have your design uploaded. You can upload it in the pop-up screen if it wasn't already there. You can then place the design where it needs to be placed in the editing view here. All right, that looks pretty good to me. So we'll click continue. And that's it for that variant. Now we can move on and we do the choose product option for each additional variants. Now, the nice thing is that once we've uploaded that print file, Printful is going to carry it forward onto our other product variants. So now you can see we're on the exact same product. We didn't have to go back to the catalog. All we have to do is make sure we change it to the correct variant. So this is black 3XL. We're already on black. We just have to choose 3XL and the design placement should have stayed the same. So we click continue. So it gets a little bit faster after that first one. Just repeat this process for each of the remaining variants. All right, we've got all the variants synced for the black and the white color options. And now we are done as far as getting these things to sync with our Printful account. So we don't have to do anything else here. We can go back to our store page. And if you come over to the synced tab on your store page, you should now see the correct number of variants are synced to your shop. So there's our t-shirt here for the pie and we have 12 variants now synced. Now for this one, there is no option on the Printify side of things to tell Printify to ignore uh, orders for this product. And you actually don't want to use the delete option here because if you delete it here, it will also remove it from your Etsy shop and you'll lose the work you just did to sync it with Printful. However, remember the very first step we did before we synced the products to Printful was we changed the SKU numbers in the Etsy listing. So those orders will no longer sync with this particular listing in your Printify account since the SKU numbers no longer match. So you basically can just ignore this one in your Printify account, just make sure you don't delete it. All right, the last scenario is gonna be switching a product over to Gelato for fulfillment instead of, well, now we've actually synced this mug to our Printify account, and now let's say we're gonna change it again and we wanna switch our production over to Gelato instead of Printify. So it was with Printful, then we changed it over to Printify, and now we're gonna change it to Gelato. So let's see how to do that. Now, in this case, we are switching from Printify to Gelato. And remember, when we were switching from Printify to Printful, the first step was to edit the SKU numbers so that these would no longer sync with Printify and then Printful is going to use those same SKU numbers when you make the manual connection. They don't replace them. However, it is different for Gelato. Gelato will actually replace the SKU number fields with their own SKU numbers when you match up a product variant. So we don't need to begin in the Etsy listing. This time we can actually start right in Gelato. And what you want to do is go to your Gelato account, go to your stores page and make sure you've opened up your Etsy shop that is synced. And this view looks a little bit similar to our Print full view, we're going to locate either all products or the not connected products. And once you're on the not connected products tab, just scroll and find the one that you want. So here's that here for the pie mug. We're going to connect a product here. They also give you an indicator here that there are zero variants connected to your Gelato account. There are two variants that are not connected. So very similar user interface to Printful in that regard. So we can click on connect product. And then the process is going to be kind of similar to what we did with Printful. We're going to go to the catalog. We're going to find our matching product here and we're going to do an 11 ounce mug first so we'll select the 11 ounce mug now we're going to go into the design step so we're going to have to upload that design if we didn't already all right now we can actually select our mock-ups that we want to use and this will actually push them through to the listing to update the mock-ups that are there. Um, you can also download them manually if you want to do that as well. So now we can click on continue to connect. And now this is gonna show you the product variants and ask you to select the item that you wanna connect. So let's go to the 11 ounce option. That's what we just designed. We will click on this and we will select white 11 ounce ceramic mug. There we go. And now we can do continue to prices. So for the 11 ounce, what we want to do is make sure that we've set our correct price. We'll pretend that it's good there and then we will click publish. All right, so once that publishes successfully, now you can see this is updated to one variant connected and one not connected. So what we'll need to do is click on connect product again and repeat this process for the 15 ounce size. Now, when you do this for the 15 ounce size, there's only one variant remaining that isn't synced and Gelato usually is pretty smart with their integration. So it, it actually did not take me through the steps of the mockups, the pricing or selecting the variant. It just automatically synced that 15 ounce size to the 15 ounce variant because that was the only remaining one in the listing. So it just lands you on your product page for your store. And now if we navigate back to our store, we will now see that we have two variants connected for that particular listing. 
And now back in our Etsy listing, we can see that the primary mock-up was replaced with the one that we pushed through for the 11 ounce size. Don't forget to change all of your other mock-ups as needed. Make sure that you change the production partner field from Printify to Gelato in this case. That's always an important part of the process. And if we scroll down to the variant section, you'll see what I was talking about here, that Gelato actually replaced the SKU numbers with their own. So these will no longer sync with your Printify account. Now you still don't want to go and delete this product listing from your Printify account because the listing did originally come from Printify. And if you delete it there, I think it'll probably still delete this Etsy listing so you still just need to ignore it from your Printify account, but because Gelato replaced the SKU numbers, the orders will no longer sync to Printify. And of course, make sure the shipping profile is accurate. This one came through with the Gelato default mug shipping profile, but if you don't want to use their default, make sure you select the correct shipping profile. And that's it. That is how you change order fulfillment from Printful to Printify, from Printify to Printful, and from Printify to Gelato. Doing it from Printful to Gelato works the exact same way as what we just saw with the last step. And so you can see that the process varies depending on which platform you're switching to, but it is definitely possible and not super time consuming to do it. All right, I hope this video was helpful. Do me a favor and hit that like button if you did find it helpful so that more people can see this video. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can be notified of new videos on the POD Insights channel. Thank you to all subscribers and all viewers. I really appreciate your support. Thanks, everybody. See you next time.